Hey everybody, welcome back. I thought today we'd take a look at some custom Toy Story characters. These are some of the characters that are in the background of Toy Story 1. But to have a Toy Story collection, or at least try to have a complete Toy Story collection, these guys are definitely a necessity. And when you rewatch the movie probably a hundred times like I do, you notice that actually the background characters are an essential part to many scenes, including Andy's room in the beginning of Toy Story 1. So to start off, we've got these custom uh, molded and painted troikas. And so these are the nesting dolls that open up and all come out in sequence when Woody gets all the toys in order because it's Andy's birthday party and everyone starts freaking out in the bedroom. So, you know, they pop out in sequence. Uh, you got the dog, the cat, the duck, the fish, and the ladybug. These are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Hand-painted, handmade. I picked these up off eBay from a buyer who actually also had this guy. And you'll probably recognize that Roly Poly Clown is also from that same scene. And a very background, non-main focus character that really adds a lot to the collection when it's on the shelf. So I picked these up as a package deal. Um, the buyer, I believe, this was just a one-off deal. Uh, it seemed to come in and out of stock. I don't know how many they have. Um, I didn't see that it was available at this time, but I have seen it available a couple of times in the past. So I think they produce these and they sell them. And then once they're sold, they're sold out until they can produce more. So these are a very rare item. Again, handmade, um, beautiful artwork. The painting is absolutely phenomenal. Very much film accurate. Um, you can see this roly-poly clown. It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, he weighs quite a bit, actually, and he does have the bell within, um, and it's got that rolling ability. He always stands up straight when he's done. Um, just a really awesome piece. And again, these Troikas, um, you know, you can have them out. I like to have all the, uh, all the characters out, but you can always, you know, they all fit within. Uh, but having them out kind of gives you that sequence of when everyone is kind of coming out of their shell and is listening to Woody do his thing on the, the baby monitor and Mr. Mike. So yeah, short little vid today. Um, we'll start taking a look at what it takes to build a Toy Story collection, but I thought we'd start off with some of these guys, which are actually, you know, some of the lesser known characters, but are totally essential for a full Toy Story collection. So really appreciate you guys stopping by today, and we'll have something cool in store tomorrow. Thank you.